We have a guest. <laughs> yes, we do. Kevin Nealon had just come in and sit down. Here he is. Wow, usually when I walk in, people go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will just continue your conversation. Yeah, we were, oh, and, yeah. Like that was a fly on the wall. <laughs> we, were trying to, we were trying to keep our cool. <laughs> yeah, Man, I'm telling you what. Jeez, I thought maybe I'm in the wrong room. No. <laughs> Great to see you. I, yeah, you too, man. It's good to be back. Yes. Uh, I, sometimes I'll, I'll come to the radio station. I can't remember if I've been here before or yeah. not, but... Um, I don't think I've been to this one, but you guys are all over the country. I don't think you've been in this studio. You've but been I, here. Not, yes, yeah, I have you've been, been here. here. Yeah. yeah. Someone gave the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. I forget every day too, so it's all right. Yeah. I That's all right. Come By back way, how's the traffic today? How's the drive? I don't do Is traffic. Anybody? Sorry. No, I know, but you drove in, right? Oh well, I drove in at four thirty, so it wasn't yeah. bad. Did you see the way I covered myself yeah. right there? <laughs> 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 That's a professional, ladies and gentlemen. One time, Gary Shandling was on stage. I loved Gary, a good friend of mine. And um, he said to the woman in the front row, he said, when are you having your baby? She goes, I'm not pregnant. He said, oh, I'm sorry, because you had a glow about you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh nice yeah. 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 She forgot all about it. Uh, boy, right you're there. fat. <laughs> he just called me a fatty fat. I think so, fatty yeah. fat, 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 fat. But anyway, it's good fat. to be here, man. Like. This is, let's see, there's six of us now. Yeah, six, uh, five guys. Well, and one. Oh, there's one back oh, here yeah, behind you. Oh, yeah, there's one guy you, behind you. One guy over there, too. No, yeah. He doesn't yeah, have yeah, headphones yeah, there, on. There, there, uh, Pat oh, Godwin, who yeah. you see on the TV screen, we have to keep him sequestered over there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He, he, well, he could still have, ordered. He, he could still have COVID. I have we, That's oh, what really? we tell him. Yeah, that's what we tell him. You should put a big mask over the whole window. Oh, yes. That would be good. I have bad hair days. Oh, yeah. Well, not anymore. I've never seen a table in the round like this. You could put a fountain in the middle. That yeah, we, we should. Perfect. We've always well, talked about why is there dead space in the middle. But uh, And there's no way to get in there unless you climb over the desk. Which right. is really See, I think practical. we should have our guests stand there and just sort of <laughs> perform in the round. With their microphone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> Kevin, get in. <laughs> you hike, jump in there. This would be a good bar, actually. Put a bartender in the middle. Yeah. Oh, you could be cleaning oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wiping up the bar. Yeah. yeah. They should have mics at every bar, actually. And, and the, you know, you go to. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, I ordered a 7 to 7. <laughs> Where is it? Hello? <laughs> no check, please. Did you uh, just come from doing your uh, incredibly successful podcast? Uh, what is it? Hiking with Kevin? Or? Hiking with Kevin. It's a yeah. web series. Oh. I take pride in saying I don't do a podcast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because it's outside, I have a selfie stick. And no, I did not just come from there. But I did just finish my fourth season, about 116 cool. hikes total. Oh, my wow. gosh. And uh, I am exhausted. I oh, bet. I, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, all, I mean, is it, it always the same trail? No. No, it's a lot of different trails, mostly in Los Angeles, although I have done, uh, I did one in Utah with Donny Osmond. Oh. And I did one in Germany with Chelsea Handler. And I did one in uh, a couple in the Smoky Mountains with Nate Bargatze and Cheryl Crow huh. and uh, Susan Yeagley from uh, Parks and Rec. Now, did you have to do it in Utah with Donny Osmond because he can't leave the state because he has an ankle monitor or something? Oh, you know he's up to something, Willie. No. You know, actually, um, he, it was his suggestion we do it in Sundance. And oh. It was, when it, there was, it was snow on the ground, so we used snowshoes. And it's probably one of my favorite hikes because we must have fallen about half a dozen times oh, you know, with the camera and stuff. <laughs> Neither one of us were, were adept really at snowshoeing. And then we pretended we walked to Vegas. So I edited it so it looked like we were walking over the mountains because he does a show in Vegas. And, uh, yeah, you can look at it, look at it on YouTube. That's funny. Kevin Neal and, yeah. and Donny How many miles do you usually go on your show? 30. 30 miles of That's hike. a long, that's a uh, nice hike, yeah. yeah that's, I hike from city to city. <laughs> right. City to city, yeah. I do, you know, I, I do, uh, I pick up a guest in, uh, you know, different states. One guest in different states as I'm walking to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, I do, like, it depends on the guest. <laughs> I, I tell them, really, I, I just need you for an hour. Okay. Because it won't take up a lot of their time. And where do you live? I'll find a trail close to you. And what do you drink? What's your coffee you drink? You know, oh, some okay. people, I know I'm not going to get a good hike if they show up with a cup of coffee Ah, because they take the coffee with them. But the hikes started off really steep. Mm -hmm. And as each year went by, I've been doing it for four years now, they get less and less of an incline <laughs> <laughs> next year downhill with a car waiting at the bottom. You know? Do you think uh, mall walking's in your future for uh, <laughs> season five? Or? 
Maybe. Maybe. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I was going to walk with uh, Steve Martin, and he says, you know, I just can't. I mean, can, can we do Beverly Hills and just hold some bushes behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Have a bear come out. <laughs> Have you seen any wild animals on your hikes? Good question. <laughs> I was on a hike with somebody once, and he did say that, like every other question. That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, but I was hiking in one canyon once when I was doing the show Weeds, and I was about halfway, about halfway up, and I was studying my lines. Um, and it's early in the morning because that's when I can retain things. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and then I heard a deep growl off to my left. I could feel it in my chest. You know, it wasn't oh. a dog or, and I just knew it was a mountain lion. <gasps> and I scurried up to the top and I waited for like an hour or so and the sun was coming up now and uh, I knew there was other people on the trail. So I came down and, you know, nothing. But the next day, I swear to you, they caught a 200 pound mountain lion right down on the, on the sunset boulevard at the bottom of the trail. Wow. And I know that had to be the one. It had to be. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so that I didn't see one, but I do see a lot of uh, coyotes and bobcats. And I saw, I actually saw a squirrel. No. Yeah, I almost stepped on it. <laughs> <laughs> rattlesnakes, a lot of rattlesnakes in the summer, especially. Oh and here's a little tip for rattlesnakes. Oh, okay. Because I've, I've run into, and then I'll let you talk a little bit. All right. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. You're Please. fine. You're doing fine. We've been doing I, it. I ran into a snake wrangler on one of my hikes. They're shooting some show uh, in Malibu. And, um, he said, the, you got to watch out for the baby rattlesnakes because they have a lot of venom and they don't know how to control it. And they're just crazy, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and also, if you, uh, you want to move the rattlesnake, uh, I thought you'd throw like a rock at them, you know, to get them to move right, off the trail. Right. But they feel the vibrations on the ground. So if you stomp really hard... They'll slither away, but don't get too close and stop, you know. <laughs> See, that's, that's the tricky part. <laughs> Where's that line? Don't yeah. get yeah. too close. It's got to be weird, all the animals, because you have to assume, too, they they want an autograph. You know, <laughs> they, they want a selfie. Yeah, 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 yeah you're so right. They want yeah. a selfie, yeah. and, uh, and I will usually sign, you know, if there's a, a, a bear, I will sign the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> Did you sign my wife's boob? That's the, that's the husband bear. Yeah. Uh, that has happened to me, by the right. way. Right. It's uh, happened to you, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They come up and they go, what What the hell's the meaning of this? They yank her shirt down. And I go, I, I think we're in love. It's always right. refreshing when they say boobs, yeah. by the way. That's a, <laughs> you don't get that often. I had a guy come up to me and say that once. Hey, would you sign my boobs? <laughs> But I did have a, a, several times a, a woman came up and, and I learned not to sign boobs. Yes. Because I don't think she had permission from her boyfriend. Yeah. Oh. And I could see them later. I, at first I thought she was maybe a dancer at a club or something, you know, and this is fine, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, but I'll sign other people's names now. I won't oh, yeah. <laughs> Dana Carvey signed my wife's boobs. <laughs> You tell Carvey I'm looking for him. Yeah. All right? I sure will, buddy. You're darn right. Oh, man. Yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> I used to do a thing at the end of my act where I would sketch somebody from the audience. I was just going to ask you, you about were? this because mm -hmm. I had seen you do that, and it's I don't want to give too much of it away. I don't do it anymore. Oh, so. God, it's so Very wonderful. Funny, yeah. Thank you. So funny. Well, what I do is I, I, I bring an easel on stage with a big you know, pad of uh, paper. Yeah. And I'll ask uh, someone to come up from the audience because I'm learning how to sketch, like the people down on the boardwalk. Yeah. And she'll come up and she'll be facing the audience. My back will be to the audience. They could see the, the painting <laughs> of charcoal. And I'll ask her a lot of silly questions like they do on the boardwalk. So you go to school? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. All right, and we're, yeah, you're here on vacation? Okay, no matter what she says, okay. <laughs> I'm sketching her picture. Yeah. And as I'm sketching it, I'm moving her face around a little bit, and I have charcoal all over my fingers. <laughs> and I kind of, and by the end of the sketch, she's got almost a black face. <laughs> and then I show her at the so end. Of the and the audience is dying. And I show her in the mirror, and she, you know, of course, she flips out. <laughs> but, you know, getting back to signing the boobs, I, I did that once in... Um, in Lake Tahoe, one of those casinos, and great show. And then this couple came up to me. Two different times this happened. One couple came up. They said, "You know, we really enjoyed your show up until you, you know, you did that thing with my wife, the charcoal all over her face." And <laughs> no. really, um, you know, and oh, I said, "I'm sorry. Where, where is she right now?" I said, "She's in the bathroom. She's, she, it's her birthday, and she's upset. Oh. She's crying." Oh. <laughs> so I talked to the guy for a while until she came out. And uh, you know how charming I am? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. God, yeah. I loosened him up a little bit. And then yeah. she came out. And uh, by the time they left, um, they asked me to sign it. 
And they said, thank you. We really had a good time, you know? Oh. Good time. Oh. And by the way, would you sign my wife's boob? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what was the first concert you ever went to? Me? Um, I like to ask people that question. Black Oak, Arkansas, JoJo Gunn, and Bad Company. Ooh. And, ah. and Bad Company opened, so it was wow. 72, 72, 73, something like that. How about you guys? I saw Elton John in 75, 76. Oh, no wow. Yeah. That's Is that awesome. Yeah. The Steve Miller Band, it was the Wide River Tour. Remember, the, like 92 <laughs> or something. That wasn't Josh the, is young. It was yeah, awesome. Abracadabra Day, it was it? No, he, he didn't even play that. Oh, no. Thank God. Okay. Willie? Check. Oh, well, sorry. if you think Josh's answer is young, the first concert I ever got a pick to go to was the, the Strokes. Awesome uh -huh. concert. Great. The first concert I ever went to was with my older sister. We saw the Spice Girls. All right. Oh, Didn't nice. love as much at the time. Tell me what you want. What you want. <laughs> Jackson 5 and Harold Melvin. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Yeah. Wow. Nice one. Nice one. Mine was a trifecta. A, like Tom. Mine was, um, and you probably never heard of some of these people. <clears throat> um. Edgar Winter. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. He had that show called, yeah. uh, that, that hit called Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. And uh, the band Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. And I don't know if you heard of these guys, the Eagles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they were all in one show? They were all in one show. That's amazing. <laughs> in San Diego, I saw General Giant, Yes, and Peter Frampton Ooh. in the summer of 77. And I was like, whoa, what is, and Peter Frampton opened for Yes. Wow. How yeah. about you, Pat? A Starland vocal band, 77. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Stop. Uh, Billy, yeah. Billy Joel, Paramount Theater, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, 79. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wow. cool. That is crazy. Yeah. That's, uh, How many fights you get in? Uh, three. Three? <laughs> Wilkes-Barre? Yeah. <laughs> that's a tough town. I don't know if you've been there. Can Billy throw a punch? Yes, he can, actually. <laughs> he, he was a former boxer. Oh, is that that's right. right. Yeah. He won. Yeah. What was album really? is that where he has boxing gloves on the back of uh, Glass Houses? Is it? Maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Josh, you're the Billy Joel expert. What, what album is that? I, uh, I believe it's uh, Joel Joel the Musical Man. There's a second. Can't Some say a sophomore slump. I don't agree. Can't no, can't keep Joel it. down. <laughs> when did you start drawing characters? Well, I started drawing <clears throat> characters when I was a kid, um, but it was very... Um, you know, primitive way of drawing it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even finish them, and they were quick. And and I I would draw um, you know a lot of different things too, like landscapes and uh, and on an SNL I would draw like on the margin of the script when we were doing the table read. Um, if I wasn't in a sketch, I would just kind of draw whoever's across from me, whether it's Farley or uh, you know whoever. And um, but then as I uh, I kind of got older, I used to also here's where I got my real education for drawing caricatures. My mother and father were each, uh, I had a framed um, painting of them in my bedroom from a Parisian artist who was a really good caricature artist, and it was pastels. And every night, I realized subconsciously I would be looking at those and just studying how they exaggerated the different, uh, you know, uh, traits of them. And so that was really my big education. And then when uh, the pandemic came along, I, um, did you guys go through the pandemic? Uh, yeah, oh, we yeah. Right yeah, 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 we did. We did have that here, yeah. 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 It got to us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they test marketed it somewhere else. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, yeah. they test marketed yeah. I left town until it blew over, and then I came back. Yeah. You're but, lucky. Yes. We had to sit right here. Yeah. <laughs> so then also I went on Instagram, and I saw a lot of different caricatures at work, and I was just blown away. I thought, wow, there's other people that are doing this, and they're really good. So like stand-up comedy, I was influenced by some of them. And, you know, when you first start out, you don't really have your own style, like with stand-up. Mm -hmm. When I was starting stand-up, everybody in the clubs, they were doing, uh, this is back in the 1900s, of course. Oh, sure. <laughs> and this is, uh, they were doing uh, Woody Allen and Richard Pryor and Steve Martin. And, uh, and there weren't that many comics either. There was like a handful. It was such a novelty thing back then. And now, of course, everybody does stand-up comedy. Right, and there's so many comedy clubs, and it, it's not such a novelty thing anymore. I think the audience kind of knows, they know stand-up comedy, and they um, everybody has their own favorite comedian. And some of them you never heard of before, mm -hmm. and and I think everybody probably, well, I don't want to generalize, but a lot of people have been to comedy clubs now, and they know the whole brick wall. And it's, it's not that scary for them. People are sitting in the front row now. That's how... Yes, they used to be... Don't yeah. sit in the front. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> now they want to sit on stage. I said, no, no, no that's too close. <laughs> <laughs> that is very close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Willie knows what I'm talking about. Right yeah. there in the splash zone. They want to be close. That's yeah. right. 
Yeah. And you and Kevin did the shows together? When was that? Yeah, I hosted for Kevin at Helium in downtown Indy about two years ago. It was a no great kidding. show. A lot yeah. of fun. I thought I'd see you there this weekend. I'm in uh, Kokomo this Saturday. I might come hang out tonight, oh. catch the early show. All right. You're in Kokomo with Greg Hahn tomorrow night, is yes, that Yes, right? sir. Yeah. You see how I did that? Mm -hmm. Way to go there, Chad. Yeah. And okay. that's Kokomo, Indiana, not yeah, way down in not Kokomo. Not way down. Yeah. 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 Not the Beach Boys. I was going to say, Kokomo. why would the Beach Boys be here in Coco <laughs> Kokomo? <laughs> they love the Midwest. <laughs> What do you got over there on the news uh, desk, Christy? Oh, boy. Maybe Kevin can weigh in on one of these stories. He used to do this. I, I know. I'm embarrassed. I, I, no, no, no. Believe me, there, were, there was a lot of bad news where I came from. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm going to go on record to say I don't write this, okay? Just oh, so okay. you know. All they right. took that away from me years ago. I'm sorry. Oh, Liam Neeson set to star in a Naked Gun reboot. Oh. He'll play the bumbling police detective Drebin in the role made famous by Leslie uh, Nielsen. Frank Drebin. It just says Drebin here. I told you. I wonder if righteous. he'll play Frank Drebin or if it'll be like a son or a... Oh, oh. maybe a, 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 bro a brother we never heard of. Right. Or, oh. It's coming out in July of 2025. That's you have plenty of time to spend. Because he's always in those movies like Taken. He's got to get his daughter back. Yeah, right. sure. yeah. And this is uh, the, this is the spoof on what? Uh, the sequel? Uh, naked, naked Gun. Naked, naked Gun. gun. Yeah. So he's got to get his gun back or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put some clothes on it. <laughs> yeah, it. What's it doing out there naked? It's sexy, though. <laughs> it's a sexy gun. People, uh, you know, there are people who find guns sexy, right? Of course they do. Oh, yeah. Yes. I knew a girl who uh -oh. thought the most sexy thing was being with a guy in bed with a gun hanging over the headboard. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. She's Make no longer with us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You hit that headboard too hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's... <laughs> That is rough. Remember in The Sopranos, Richie Man. and uh, Richie Richie Jan Jan Janice? And she, and she, oh, that's really dark, yeah. She said, uh, Richie holds a gun to my head. And she goes, I'd make him take the clip out. <laughs> that's really, okay. really. All right, Janice. Isn't Boy. it romantic? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Richie got his, though. Okay. On a much lighter note, candy companies are trying to find new ways to get you to chew gum again. Hmm. I guess there's a problem. Are, are gum chewers down? Gum sales dropped chick by nearly a third in 2020 oh thanks my. to the pandemic. Wow. Yeah. That? Do you know in Singapore, I think it is, they don't allow gum chewing? Yeah, you it's illegal. Find, yo, you won't find one piece of gum on the sidewalk. Well, good for really? them. Yeah. Also, they cane people, though, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a big... <laughs> yeah. Get That's the, the cane center, not the Singapore. And not with should, sugar cane. <laughs> no. Should we introduce caning here? You think yes. there, some things... <laughs> what, what would you cane somebody for? Um, Breaking into a car. Oh, okay. Uh, so oh, actual... Light offenses, like... Yeah. Uh, uh, not putting the thing? shopping cart back in the corral. Well, wait a minute. That's, yeah, that's serious. Man, that might be worth one swipe in the... Yeah, that's a But game. do you put them back? <laughs> I do. Yes. I do. Yeah, I am very good about I do, that. too. Yes. Don't do. look at me. All, All right. right. I, I take want them my home. quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you have in your collection? Now? Oh my God, I got I got one from uh, every different grocery store in my town. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know who's got the best uh, um, carts? Publix, Publix. Oh, oh from Florida. Publix Florida has great ones. Yeah. So does Target. I think Target's Target. Target. They got the big plastic yeah. ones. I like the ones at Aldi. They're great. They only cost a quarter that's too. Right. Yeah, that's you a take good deal. Right Some that's stores right. have the yeah. uh, the high tech ones that. Have brakes on it. You can't. Uh, that that nailed me at a Kroger. It, it went to a. It came to a certain screeching point. halt. Yeah. What? I went. What the yeah. hell is this? The oh, guy they, goes, they have like a low jack. You've never on seen them that. Or no, yeah. I've never yeah. seen yeah. that. And the guy goes, "Oh, we forgot to disengage that or whatever. It's an anti theft thing yeah. where the wheels just stop working. That's yeah. right. Outside of a certain area, I, I, I don't like this at the airports. Is they charge you like six dollars for those carts for your luggage, mm. and if you don't do that, then you got to get a porter, and that's why I go carry on now. Yeah, that's smart. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. very smart. Chrissy, I like the way you did the Liam Neeson uh, thing. Yeah. And then the next one was, and on a lighter note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the naked gun. Yeah. Well, you guys were talking about guns on people's uh, heads having sex. Well, that's oh, yeah. That's true. We did, no. Kevin, you did mention a woman being killed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. You got me there. You yeah, got me that there. was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a little hot. We got a little hot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, apparently uh, anyway. sales is yeah. third down. Sales in dollars are back to pre-pandemic levels, but that's due to inflation. Mars, which owns the 133-year-old Wrigley brand, is repositioning oh, gum so as a stress reliever. Isn't that uh, Rather than a breath freshener. I'm the only... Mars owns Wrigley. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Think about wow. that. There's got to be some antitrust uh, issues there. Yeah, they got to take a look. What, what is your favorite candy bar? Uh, I got to go... Uh, I got to go Snickers. Uh, Snickers yeah, is I hard agree. to beat. No. Um, yeah. Uh, I like a... 
uh, Reese's peanut butter cup, oh, or as I yeah, say, yeah. Reese peanut butter yeah. cup. Well, that's how the uneducated would Stop say. Stop it. Yes, Reese's. That's how the Midwesterners say but it. But I like the I'm ones that are, I don't like the cups. I like the Reese's in uh, different shapes, like uh, like a Christmas tree. Or, or the oh, pumpkins. A pumpkin. Bats, yeah. or a don't you love it when you bite into something, you don't know there's peanut butter in there, oh, and then yeah. you hit it, and oh, you go, yeah. oh. This Have is you had the uh, Reese's <laughs> peanut butter and uh, caramel? No. No, it's very good. Oh. I know what your third choice is. Uh -huh. Besides Snickers yeah. and um, Reese, Reese is Kit Kat. Oh, I like really? Kit Kat. I like okay. Kit Kat. I'll, uh -huh. I'll eat a Kit Kat. I thought maybe I don't know you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a Kit Kat. Kit Kats uh, are great because you could just—you don't have to eat the whole thing. You can break off little uh, columns. Come on, he and I are here. kindred spirits. I <laughs> yeah. eat one, one section, one section a, day. a day, and they make fun of me. A Kit Kat lasts for a whole week. <laughs> Kevin, you can't abide this. Tom, here's my problem. Uh -huh. I don't know if anybody's on board with this, but I am such a fan. I'm not sponsoring them or promoting them. It's the. Um, the double chocolate Milano cookies. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we got those are insane. I think we have I'll in get a bag of those, and oh. they'll be eaten by the time I get to the cash register. Oh. And if not, <laughs> I'll put them home in the freezer, <laughs> and I'll dunk them in milk. And I love, oh. I love that That's so a good much. choice. I don't think they're, uh, I don't think they're. Did you that, eat all the Milano cookies? I don't think they're that shoplifting if you eat them before you get to the register. No, no. Oh. They're not. You know, once you go out the door. Yeah. Then that's a final. Is that a Pepperidge Farm? Yes. Uh, yes. It is. Uh, sure Pepperidge is. Farms remembers. But oh, I do think you should remember. be caned for that if you take them outside. <laughs> yes, you can't get yeah. caned for that. Is there a Pepperidge Farms? Can we go <laughs> see, <laughs> see the we, fields of Milano? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> fields of Milano. Is there a hidden valley? Is that what we're doing? Great stings. Are there Pepperidge Farmers? They're growing the little chess pieces. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Uh, I'm going to go, uh, you know what? I'm a very vanilla man. Uh, Treff oils the uh, the shortbreads i just like those shortbreads and i, I oh yeah this That's is very fat why do they go to such trouble to make a cookie and they arrive at a trefoil. Oh, no, they're good. <laughs> I, I, I stack them in a glass and I just pour milk in the glass. Oh, oh, I don't nice. coffee. Well, that it's is a very a fat idea. idea. Yeah, oh, and you <laughs> scoop them out? Well, now, wait a minute. I call it an Orson Welles cereal. That's, yeah. what, that's what I call it. Josh, <laughs> Tom, I if I know you like I think I know you, you like the peanut butter ones. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, but I'm Chick. Yeah, you don't know him too well. His name's Chick. Tom, where's Tom? Uh, I'm his kid. Tom's gone. You look like a Tom. He does. A lot of people do. And you look like you're in control of the whole show. I'm trying to fill in. Yeah. But, uh, is my face red? No, 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 no don't worry. You, you totally here. saved it, though. <laughs> yeah. Willie, what about you? Uh, <laughs> I do like I like the tagalongs, and Josh, I'll get a the peanut butter Girl Scout is the answer. Is that yeah. tagalong? I knew uh, it. Dosido. -do? Yeah, you knew it. You know, you do know me. What but I, get I do know something. I get Reese's Puffs, and then I break up the Tagalongs, and I put them in the Reese's Puffs. Oh it's just God. a big peanut butter chocolate cereal delight. But I was at the grocery store. There were the girls selling the Girl Scout cookies out front, and I go, hey, ladies, do you have any Tagalongs? And they go, oh, no, we just ran out. And I see ya. And I just didn't support the Girl Scouts. I'm still embarrassed about it. Oh, hey, guys, you have any Tagalongs? Oh. That would be me. Where's your car? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> the Nabisco Mansion is for sale. Did you hear about this? Nabisco you, Mansion? Do you know about it in St. Louis? Because it's in St. Louis, Missouri. Why? I'm not aware what? of it. Know that. Yeah, according to Riverfront Times, the house was built in 1906 for Mr. Louis Dozier, president of what would become the Nabisco Company. His nickname was Bull. Yeah. Yeah. 13,000 square foot property features 24 rooms, an in-ground swimming pool, and a medieval style ballroom. Medieval. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Torture medieval. Rex. Yeah. Oh. Medieval. The homes, you ought to see how he spelled that, by the way. The home's current owners purchased the mansion in 1996 and have since restored it. It's listed at just under $2 million. The Nabisco Mansion. And you're not familiar with it. Oh. It's not far from Pepper's Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's and why the Keebler you're here. tree. <laughs> Tom, have you been say, there? Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. Oh, yeah. Bravo. Uh. Nabisco has a house, but Keebler only has a dumb tree. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, oh, the elves don't Keebler. need a whole mansion. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yes. my God. Thank you. I forgot about Keebler. Yeah. That's Keebler good... elves. What yeah. are the ones with the stripes on them? They make that cookie with the fudge. Uh, fudge stripes. Fudge stripes. Yes. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. Do you, you like the fudge stripes? You ever yeah. put uh, nine or ten fudge stripe cookies in a glass of milk, Josh, and spoon them out? That is so, no, I'm not that fat. I put them in <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Josh, that's the best idea I've ever heard. I take a stack of those and pour some milk. Uh, yeah. You put them in a bowl or just glass? Uh, oh, glass. A gla oh, that's yeah. a better idea. Yeah. Well, a very good. nice. Uh, 
And then when you get to the bottom, do you drink the rest of the milk? Of the course cookies? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do that with <laughs> Lorna Dunes, too? Lorna Ooh, Dunes. Lorna Dunes. I, didn't, I didn't know we had the royalty. <laughs> wow. Excuse me. Who the hell is Lorna Dunes? She makes a nice shortbread cookie. Who can afford does. a Lorna Dunes? Got an extra job for a Lorna Dunes. Oh, boy, boy. We got a Rockefeller over here. <laughs> that explains that right. car in the parking lot. Yeah. Uh, right. Nobody mentioned Oreos. I mean, yeah, that's, that's they story. nailed it, didn't oh, they? That's, uh, okay. Yeah. 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 And I'll yeah. do the same with Oreos. Yeah. Stack oh, you won't split them open and lick it out? <laughs> I don't. I don't split them. No, no. I think that they're perfect as the same. Yeah, I've never done that. Yeah, I see do that. Do you like happens. a golden Oreo or do you stick with I just I don't. Chocolate. I want the chocolate, yes. Once again, like you, golden like golden, Oreo. you like golden Oreo because you think they cost more. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly yeah, right. My you think you're better than us. You like the chocolate-covered Oreos? I, I have had the white chocolate covered Oreos. Oh, oh one of my, my an ex girlfriend of mine loved those. Those make your teeth hurt, don't they? Man, wow. they are very, very Ooh. sweet. Now, Josh, where do you stand on the double stuffed? Oh, I'm, a, I'm a traditional stuffed yeah. man, but double, nothing wrong with double stuffed. Where do you stand on the deep fried? Because uh, <laughs> oh, they do them. deep fry those things. Yeah. I have had them, yeah. Have you, Kevin? Have you, you like No, I'm trying to cut down on it. Uh, well, how deep? Uh, I, I am at least seven and a half feet. Seven and a half because feet. Because the air and the front. grease. <laughs> yes. There's something on. really happens chemically there. That uh, I don't know if I came up with this or some other comic did. If you get a, a, a deep fish, you know, a, you know, what do they call them? Like a deep sea deep fish. Or deep fish. fish. Yeah. yeah. As a pet, do you have to get a really deep aquarium? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they can't live uh, Those any, marlin can't six live. feet. They, they won't live. Yeah. They'll die on you. Like a big backyard. It gets too. really dark. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They like the water pressure. It makes them feel. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There must be some like difference for them. Being hugged. <laughs> Yeah. I kind of ran out of just... <laughs> I wondered why you didn't want to finish. You get tired? I, I did get tired, and I, I, I was not Isn't committed. Isn't that just like was you, not Tom? committed to the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like well, it. I'm... When people give up on a story, yeah. you know, they start saying, you know, I was, uh, this is the craziest thing. I was coming home from work yesterday, and I got to this traffic light. Oh, uh, this is just too long. <laughs> there you go. Great. I used to say that. Are you you're going to go out and host some comedy shows? And I go, yeah. Is your wife going with you? And I go, no. How am I going to get laid if she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hey, Pat. Yeah. I heard that you have prepared something special for our guest, Kevin Nealon. Is that correct? I am a huge fan. Uh huh. Nealon. <laughs> Love that Kevin Nealon. <laughs> he gives us warm, fuzzy feelings. Whenever he's around Oh, years ago I worked with him in Sanibel oh. But he doesn't remember me well Hey, he's worked with lots of folks <laughs> Kevin Nealon whoa, So whoa, funny, whoa. Kevin Nealon <laughs> I made no impression on him. <laughs> Granted, I was terrible years ago. <laughs> Everyone, kneeling. Whoa, 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 Kevin Nealon. We love you, Kevin Nealon. Welcome to the Bob and Tom. He's not here, it's Chick Show. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. I got, nice. You've got Kleenex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tearing up here. Man. You know, I, I remember where we work, though. You go there, yeah. Tom. Because <laughs> I, he remembers the building. <laughs> <laughs> you were fantastic. You were great. No, I remember. You used the microphone, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just the opening. <laughs> but I ran into that guy uh, just John the other Biddle. day. Yeah, John Biddleman, who used to uh, own that club yeah. or ran the show or whatever. Out in Vegas? No, in Sanibel. Oh, in Sanibel, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, I did run into him in Vegas. Yeah, I saw him in <laughs> Vegas. That's where I saw him. <laughs> and that guy Listen. named Dr. Al also operated that. Uh, Dr. Al? Too. Yeah. Dr. Was he the guy that said everything backwards? He did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, that's way to bring things to a stop. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs>